Tuesday, May 26th. It's that much closer to going back to school. Guess how many more days there are? Well, let's count them. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, <gasps> and then on Monday we go back to school! So five more days, y'all, until we go back to school! Isn't that kind of cool? And look, I've got my cool mask on just for you, okay? It's still me, though. See that? It's still Miss Morgan. Okay, so in the past, we've seen some really cool work with instruments, right? Yeah. Do you like to play instruments? Like the guitar or the piano or the violin? Yeah, me too. I'm not very good at them, but I really like them. So we just have a few segments today, and we are going to talk about instruments. Let's go check out our first little blurb, and it is from Sunshine Kids YouTube. They're going to sing a little song for us. So get ready to sing. We'll put back on our masks, and we'll do it with them. And I'll see you back here in just a minute. Have fun! Happy Sunshine, friends! Tuba! French horn. Electric guitar. Accordion. Acoustic guitar. Banjo. Bell. Castanet. Cello. Tuba. French horn. Electric guitar. Accordion, acoustic guitar, banjo, bell, castanet, cello. Microphone. Cymbals. Recorder. Trumpet. Flute. Clarinet. Maracas Harmonica Microphone Cymbals Recorder Trumpet Flute Clarinet Harp Maracas Harmonica Xylophone Piano Drum Tambourine Saxophone Ukulele
violin. Woodblock. Triangle. Xylophone. Piano. Drum. Tambourine. Saxophone. Ukulele. Violin. Woodblock. Triangle. when you hear someone in a mask, isn't it? Okay, let's go check them out and see what they have to say in teaching us about all those different kinds of instruments we see. Let's go. Hey friends, today I'm going to teach you about string instruments. Are you coming along? The instruments in this family have different strings. When they are played, we hear different music notes. Do you want to see some string instruments? Let's go for it! The guitar is a six string instrument. It is used a lot in flamenco music. This is what it sounds like. The electric guitar is used a lot in rock music. Listen to its sound. Wow, I love how it sounds. The violin has four strings. The musician places it under his chin and it is played by strumming the strings with the bow. Have you heard how it sounds? It is really soft and nice. The cello is an instrument belonging to the violin family, and it is also played with a bow. What a beautiful sound! The ukulele is a small guitar with four strings. In Hawaii, they play it with the hula dance. Do you know what it sounds like? It sounds great! That harp has up to 39 strings, and they produce sound when they are plucked by the musician's fingers. Silence. Shh. We are going to listen to how it sounds. The piano is the exception. Inside, it has 230 strings that are hit by hammers under the keys. It is one of the most important instruments and is also considered a percussion instrument. Wow, I want to learn how to play the piano like that. Let's review the instruments we learned about today. The guitar! The electric guitar! Violin, cello, ukulele, harp, piano, great! Hello friends, today I'm going to teach you about wind instruments. Do you want to know more about them? The instruments belonging to this family need air to make sounds. There are two types, the ones made of wood and the ones made of metal. Now let's have a look at them. The 
transverse flute can be made of gold or silver. Formerly, it was made of wood, so it belonged to the woodwind family of instruments. This is how it sounds. The clarinet is a woodwind instrument. Did you know it is used in a lot of jazz music? Wow, I love how it sounds. The trumpet is the smallest of the brass wind instruments. In the past, they used it at the palace to signal king and queen's arrivals. Attention, attention, here is its sound. The saxophone is a woodwind instrument. It is used in jazz because of its relaxing sound. Shh, listen to its sound. I want to learn to play the saxophone and become a jazz star. The trombone is a brass wind instrument. It has a rod that moves back and forth to change the note or the sound it makes. It sounds awesome! The tuba is the biggest of the brass wind instruments and it is the deepest as well. Silence! Shh! We are going to listen to how it sounds. It sounded really great! Let's review the instruments we learned about today. Transverse flute! Clarinet, trumpet, saxophone, trombone, tuba, great! Hey friends, today I'm going to teach you about percussion instruments. Do you want to know more about them? To make sounds with instruments in this family, you have to hit them with your hands or drumsticks. They are all really unique and they come from very different countries. Do you want to see some percussion instruments? Let's take a look. The drum set includes the snare drum, bass drum, and cymbals. We see this instrument a lot in rock music. Let's have a listen. That was amazing! What an awesome beat! This is an instrument with a drum head that you hit to make different beats. The drum comes from African tribes. Listen to its sound! Wow! I love how it sounds! The xylophone is an instrument with plates. When you hit them, different notes are played. Have you ever heard it before? It was a very relaxing and nice sound. The cymbals are two flat metal circles that make a sound when they are hit together. Shh! We are going to listen to them now. The maracas are usually played in sets of two. They are used in music with a Latin beat. This instrument originated in Venezuela and Colombia. Ready for the maracas? They sound great! Triangle. This instrument has this name due to its shape. To make it sound right, we have to grab it with only two fingers. Listen to its sound. Let's review the percussion instruments we learned about today. Drum set. Drum, xylophone, cymbals, maracas, triangle, fantastic! Did you like this video about musical instruments? Subscribe to our channel by clicking on the seal. And if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the squares.
friends, how did you like that? Did you learn something? I thought so. Well, now let's cuddle up and listen to our read aloud with Miss Megan today. She's going to read a book to us about instruments. I hope you enjoy it, and we will see you back here tomorrow on Morgan and Friends. Hey guys! Hey, it's Miss Megan again. Hey, how are ya? I was just practicing my mask wearing. Miss Morgan keeps reminding us on Morgan and Friends to practice wearing our masks because we have to wear them when we go back to school. How's everyone doing? I'm gonna read you guys a really fun book today. It's called The Remarkable Farkle McBride. It's about instruments and a symphony. Do you like instruments? I do too. Let's go read the book together. The Remarkable Farkle McBride. Written by John Lithgow and illustrated by C.F. Payne. Oh, pity the prodigy Farkle McBride. <clears throat> no what matter instrument poor Farkle tried, whether strumming or blowing or drumming or bowing, his musical passions were unsatisfied. When Farkle McBride was a three-year-old tyke, all freckly, bony, and thin, he astonished his friends and his family alike by playing superb violin. He went reedle-dee, deedle-dee, deedle-dee-dee with all of the strings at his side. Reedle-dee, deedle-dee, deedle-dee-dee, the remarkable Farkle McBride. That's a violin. When he was four, Farkle played it no more. In spite of his parents' beseeching, he shattered the records he used to adore. He smashed up his resin, ripped up every score. He threw fiddle and the bow to the living room floor, and he shouted, enough of your screeching. Ooh, he broke his violin. He must have been very frustrated. When Farkle was five, his melodogical gift once again bore rhapsodical fruit. The woodwinds inspired his spirits to lift and he rapidly mastered the flute. He went rootily, tootily, tootily too with all of the winds at his side. Rootily, tootily, tootily too. The remarkable Farkle McBride. But at six, Farkle flung his flute into the lake. Notwithstanding its lyrical trill, he stamped on the dock till you'd think it would break. That's it, he exclaims. I've had all I can take. That tootling gives me a brutal headache. It's so wimpy and whiny and shrill. When Farkle was seven, a different sound rekindled his musical flame. He became the most expert trombonist around and the boulevards buzzed with his name. This is the trombone he's playing. He went vroom pity doom pity doom pity doom with all of the brass at his side. Vroom pity doom pity doom pity doom, the remarkable Farkle McBride. But at eight, he declared to his parents' despair, and as everyone else might have guessed, I can't stand the trombone with its blat and its blare. That racket is more than my eardrums can bear. So return it or throw it away, I don't care. I despise it just like all the rest. Sad. He threw his trombone in the trash. Oh, that's not how we treat beautiful musical instruments. When Farkle was nine, both his father and mom were bursting with pride and affection. For Farkle learned xylophone, cymbals, and drum, the entire percussionist section. He went boom, bash, clang a clash, all the clamor that he could provide. Tinkly bing bong bumpity crash. The remarkable Farkle McBride. 
But soon he fell prey to his usual gloom, despite all the praise and the flattery. First a sigh, <sighs> then a sulk, then a frown, and then a fume, then an ear-splitting tantrum that emptied the room. I can't take it, he bellowed, the crash and the boom and the clang and the bang of the battery. Poor Farkle at ten, however so round, reached the end of his musical tether, but then he discovered his favorite sound. Musicians all playing together. It happened like this. The conductor caught cold on the day of a major recital. You've got to replace him, young Farkle was told. Your cooperation is vital. So he took the baton and he gave the downbeat and kaboom, the foundations were shaken by glorious music, bombastic and sweet, that filled up the hall and spilled into the street. Music that brought the whole crowd to its feet from the instruments he had forsaken. They went readily, tootily, room petty bang. Bravo, all the spectators cried. Deedily, doodily, doom petty clang. The remarkable Farkle McBride. Since that sparkling night, Maestro Farkle McBride conducts all the instruments he's ever tried. His happy heart sings to brass drums, winds, and strings. And remarkable Farkle at last is satisfied. All of the musicians, when they put them together, are called the symphony. And he is the conductor. That's a very important job. The end, and his parents brought him flowers for doing a great job. Thanks for coming to read with me. I can't wait to see you all at school very soon. Have a great day.